We see it again. It can be really tempting, though, for people to walk into high waters just to see how deep it is. Kids obviously want to splash around, but the water is just not safe. Nohei Lani Graf is live in Mesa tonight. And Nohei, you're taking action to show us just exactly what dirty water really means. And you know what, guys? Mesa City crews tell me they find all sorts of stuff in these storm drains. We're not just talking branches. They found plastic toys, pocket knives, needles even. And when these flood, nothing is going down there. So all of that is just sitting in your street. How could you ever forget storm images like this? Literally up to here on my son, it was flooded. For two days, people in Mesa waited in that water, some leaving, others just looking. It was yucky. It was, it was something that kids shouldn't have been swimming in. Now we have rain again. The sunshine and rainbows that follow help wash the worry away, but also shed light on hidden hazards. You could walk right in and immediately step on something that cuts your foot open. Ever notice the mess against the curb before street sweepers get it? Sometimes the wind blows down a trash can, and you know all the things that are in people's trash cans, things like cans of soup that have been cut open and they have sharp lids. Sure, you could spot it in a little puddle, but we've seen how fast that water can rise. Storm drains clog. Now think about this. You can see my reflection and everything above the surface clear as day. But underneath the water, you can't see any of that. Quick scavenger hunt down the street. I already found this pointy piece of metal, a rusted screw. Imagine this piece of metal surprising you with a slice in the leg. Even if you live in an area that's usually clean. That water could have carried debris from several miles away from construction sites, places like that. There could be two by fours, wood in there, nails. Bottom line, before you think of setting foot in standing water again, stop. So that's the trauma hazard. Now think of your yard. Do you use fertilizer out there? Your pets do their business? Well, all that gets washed into the mix, too. And if you step into the water with an open cut, now you have an infection hazard. So medics tell me if that happens and you start to swell or you see color streaks coming from that wound, you need to get help right away. Yeah, I was in that neighborhood just last week, and the smell alone ought to tell you something there. Thanks, Nohei.